Hi, I just wanted to show you a new ESD mat that I got for the uh, soldering bench. And yeah, sorry about my voice. It is as bad as it uh, sounds. Now, um, the reason I went with a grey mat this time is because of uh, exposure for my uh, Tagano microscope uh, camera. And of course, I didn't want to use the same brand last time. You know, I've done uh, videos on how crap uh, this matting uh, was and how it used to be blue and now it's like greeny. Um, it's just, yeah, change color. You know, the lights have just, uh, all the exposure to the atmosphere or whatever has just changed the color. Anyway, I got this one from um, RS uh, Components. So it's like an RS Components uh, brand. It's actually uh, static dissipative both uh, sides, whereas the other one I've got isn't. It's actually conductive on the uh, bottom. So this one has a conductive inner layer with static dissipative on the top. And yes, I've done a video how static dissipative is not conductive. So I might have to link that one in. Anyway, so I'll see how this one goes. It was already like uh, pre-cut. It's got four uh, studs in each uh, corner. It is uh, really quite nice and it was the exact size. I didn't have to cut it. It was 1.2 meters by 600 or something. So anyway, the reason that I've got uh, gray is uh, so that because camera exposures are uh, calibrated, uh, the, the exposure metering is actually calibrated for an 18% gray scale. And what that is, is if you've got one of these uh, uh, camera um, cards, you know, th th this is used for white balance and this is used for uh, gray scale exposure. And this is 18% uh, gray scale. And as you can see, it's not quite uh, the same. I don't know, like it doesn't specify, but it's grey in quote marks, right? So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be good enough for Australia. So um, what the, so the camera, if you've got, let me, let me demonstrate here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll put down a black background on my camera, right? So I've got a black background like this. Now, you watch the image here and Ready? As I put something in there, right, I've, I've got a board, something like that. You can see how the speaker is like overexposed. The speaker's like looks white. And if I put my pasty white hands in here, you can see that the exposure changes drastically when I put extra white in there, like that, right? So there's a huge difference in exposure. You can see the, um, the poor old camera trying to go, whoa, that's, that's the auto exposure mode. I mean, I can set manual exposure, of course, but you know, auto exposure is the one you want to use. And um, yeah, it's not that great. And if you're trying to do something with a black background and you know, so it's not that terrific. But if I remove the black and now I've got the gray background like this, the exact same thing, the speaker is more exposed because the camera is uh, essentially, you know, once it's got, if it's got that 18% grayscale background, then that's what the exposure is calibrated for. So you're getting really nice exposure. If I bring my hands in here, you notice the exposure of the board doesn't really change at all, right? There's, there's almost zero difference, almost zero on the exposure of that board. See how it doesn't change at all. And that's what you want. So now when I bring my hands in and out of shot, um, I won't get, you know, that exposure, that annoying exposure uh, changing on my videos. So there you go. That's the, um, anyway, just wanted to show you. And of course I can turn the lights on and I've got a color uh, chart as well. So I can whack that in and you can have a squiz at the color chart if you're interested. Uh, this uh, monitor is not the best. I can't actually set the uh, color uh, backlight temperature on it and stuff like that, but I've kind of sort of got it near enough, you know. Um, so it's it's reasonably okay. And that's with the lights on, lights off like that. So my camera that I'm shooting this with at the moment, my Sony NX80, this is uh, color calibrated. Um, so it, it is set for 5000 Kelvin, which is all my studio lights here are 5000 Kelvin, high, high CRI. So that's, there, there you go. So that should look pretty color accurate. I won't edit this. I'll turn on the internal light in the Tagano microscope. Don't know, it's gonna, is that gonna appear better? Don't know. But anyway, there you go. Color chart and the new gray mat. I just wanted to show you the exposure thing and how it works really well. And um, also show you a before, this is a before reference video. So, 
<laughs> in a couple of years' time, I can look back and go, aha, uh -huh, yeah, that's drastically changed. Um, that's a crap quality ESD, Matt, in a couple of years' time. I can say that if it's changed. If it hasn't, well, Bobby Dazzler. Um, and I guess you could just flip it. And I think the two surfaces are near... Oh, no, they're different. No, this no, this is definitely the bottom. It's not the same. It's shinier. It's kind of a different surface to the top. So I was going to say you could just flip it and get a brand new surface back if it did uh, fade because the uh, the mats I used over here, um, when, when I actually had stuff placed on here, I've, I've shown videos where, like, after a couple of years, like, you'd get a big patch of original colour where something was just sitting there for years and then the faded... Um, part of it that was exposed. So, yeah, anyway, so that's a reference. I'm going to see if it happens to this one. So, anyway, looks good. Fixed all my exposure problems. Nice. Catch you next time.